Even the sound effects in the Star Wars sequel trilogy is terrible. This is how Luke's blue lightsaber really sounds. This is how it sounds in the sequel trilogy. Why is it different? Why did they change it? They rehashed the plot of New Hope, yet the lightsaber sound effect needed to be changed. This is how most lightsabers sound. That was established in six movies. Kylo Ren's lightsaber, I got no problem. It's a new lightsaber. Luke's lightsaber, sorry, it has to sound the same. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now people might say, Darth Maul then, you're really nitpicking at the sequel trilogy. Yeah, maybe this is a small detail. They changed the sound effect on Luke's lightsaber. It's not like they actually wrote Luke Skywalker out of the movie. Oh wait, they did write Luke Skywalker out of the movie. You may think the lightsaber sound effect is a small thing. It might even sound cool. I just asked, how hard is it to make the lightsaber sound consistent with the other six movies? But that's asking too much of Disney. They can't even be consistent in The Last Jedi. This is not how the lightsaber sounds. Definitely not Luke's. But that Melvin, Ronnie Johnson screwed up The Last Jedi. No. The whole trilogy is terrible. They can't even be consistent in the same damn movie! This is two different sounds. Finn's has more of a and Ray's is just, it's more faint. Finn's had much more emphasis on the end. It's very simple. The lightsaber effect sounded cool in the first six movies. It was already established what Luke's lightsaber sounded like. But they felt the need to change it multiple times, even twice in the same damn movie. This is what Disney Star Wars is. Just complete incompetence, and they just show a total lack of knowledge of Star Wars. I'm growing stronger with the dark side every day. The Knights of Melvin need knights. Become a knight today. Subscribe to the channel. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural.